Hi friends, good morning. This is Pradeep Shetty here, your Mindset Transformation Coach. And today I bought you a couple of productivity tips, around seven to eight productivity tips, which you can apply or implement in your life so that you become more and more productive. Because you can see there is so much uh, things happening in and around us uh, regarding COVID or various other things. So there might be challenging times where you are not able to be productive. The first and the foremost thing what I want all of you to do is to know the importance of time. Yes, every person on this planet has only and only 24 hours. You can take uh, Mukesh Ambani or even the beggar at the street of Mumbai in the signal, busy signal is begging. So even he has that same time and even Mukesh Ambani who is at the top and India is the richest man, he too has the same time. So do remember that uh, everybody has this 24 hours and you need to become productive in that time limit. So what you can really do on that is start working on, you know, or planning your things, how your routine is and all those things. The first and foremost thing what you can do is start scheduling. Yes, my dear friend, you need to have a to-do list. Every single day, you need to prepare a to-do list before you go to bed and start thinking about the things maybe that three thing or four thing, which is very, very important to you and start thinking about it again and again before you go to sleep, how you're going to execute it, how you're going to work on it. It might take a lot of time, maybe initially, just like Brian Tracy says, eat the biggest frog first thing in the morning. That is start, go ahead and start jumping on the things, which is very, very difficult, very difficult to do. Just work on that. Because once you achieve that one thing that is equivalent to 70 to 80% of your efficiency or the work or productivity that particular day. So start working on that, okay, on your to-do list. You should always and always have a to-do list in case it can, you can bifurcate it as uh, for home and the other one as for work. If you run a business, you need to have a separate to-do list for your business. Don't try to jumble and crumble with all the things, whatever comes to your mind, pending things into one particular notepad or anything like that, right? Or something. So you need to, it's, it needs to be very clear. The to-do list, it should be very clear for business. It's this, these three things. For the home, it's this. And for the other thing, it is this, right? The third most important thing is that you need to get the important task on priority. Now you have done that list. It might have 10 things in business, at home and everything, out of which, which are the two or the three most important tasks. Once you do that most important task, you will really feel great. You really feel relaxed, right? So try to practice that. And that will come by practice as to how to identify which is really very, very important and start working on those things. The fourth most important thing is Google Calendar. Yes, my dear friends, I understand every phone Every phone, Android phone does have, I think even it's there in the iPhone, I really don't know, but I think you can really download it through the apps. You do have some apps where you can download it. Uh, the Google Calendar, I did download in my iPad. So uh, start working on it. And it's not only that you are planning for this particular time, you're going to do this, but also there is colors. Yeah, you can do coloring on uh, different tasks which you have on the Google Calendar. Now, recently I watched uh, a video. I think it was an advertisement from the Mind Valley, Vishen Lakhani. So he showed us uh, how his uh, calendar is. And I could see that his calendar is almost filled up, but with different colors. Now, that color might be, you can, you know, you can give a uh, a priority to it. Maybe if it is in red, that is really important. Green might be, you know, very less important. Yellow is, yes, it's uh, it's important and urgent. Something like that. You can have that structure and the moment you open your Google Calendar, you really know where you need to focus on. So have this and play with the colors because uh, once that, uh, even with that colors, you will be able to come to know which is important and which is not. And uh, this planning hardly takes 10 to 15 minutes of your whole time. It's being said that if you just, uh, you know, uh, spend time on one hour of planning, which is equivalent to five days of work, my dear sir. 
Okay, my dear friends, do remember one hour of planning is equal to five days of work. So please go ahead and start planning the things as to how your next week looks, the whole next week looks, which is really important. What are the things? What are the seminars? What are the workshops? What are the conferences? What are the most important meetings you need to attend? What are the most important training programs you need to go? I'm just telling this from my point of view. In the same way, just prioritize from your point of view what is really important to you. You want to meet somebody, prioritize on that. You want to go for some wedding function or some important functions, just make a note of it. You want to go for maybe your church or mosque or temple, something like that, just have a priority on that. Just put all these things on the priority list and just convert that and put it into your Google Calendar on a daily basis. And do remember, these Google Calendar, it can be synced on your phone, it can be synced on your iPad, or also on your laptop that's really very very important so that you need not because these are cloud-based and you can have it have an access to from anywhere that's what i understand then you need to have the set of things uh, fixed just like when you get up when you go to sleep when you have your food and uh, even to the extent when you take your breaks yeah the lunch break and or maybe tea breaks or maybe something related to exercise, you do it on a daily basis, daily ritual, have this in your calendar fixed. I have it on my calendar, Google calendar, that is a tea, lunch break, when it needs to be done. Apart from that, I have a laughing time, yes. Just for five minutes or 10 minutes, I just go ahead and watch maybe Charlie Chaplin or maybe some pranks, which gets laughter. I, I really feel laughing right? You really get into a different state of mind. So all that things, maybe tension or anything, it gets relaxed. You can do that on your, uh, depending upon what you love, maybe watching uh, which of the programs you want to, you know, add into your calendar. The other thing is that you should always carry, like the Japanese, they have a great system of carrying a notepad and a pen all the time. So you can take a small notepad and a pen always maybe in your pocket or something like that. Or the other way, what you can do on your mobile phones, you can go to the you know, Google Play and download few uh, notepads that are very good notepads. So you can name each of them on the top and then on the bottom, write down many things. So maybe in an hour, uh, maybe for one minute or two minutes, or maybe in a day for just for five minutes or 10 minutes, you can make a note of most important things. So by that, your mind would be focused, whatever the things, because so many things goes around your mind. So everything can be condensed into one thing or in one place. The other most important thing is you need to know your peak time. Yes, the most productive time. For every person, it is different. So you need to know whether morning, early morning is a most productive time for you, afternoon, evening, or even to the extent night. Some people are night owls. Yes, I do agree. And uh, at that particular time, when you work, you're very focused, you are able to do the task of two hours in just half an hour. Uh, that's what I mean by productive uh, hour. So you need to know what your productive hour is right from the childhood. Just try to analyze when people said, hey, you know what, at this particular time uh, you read or I read, I really score well in my exam. So try to know what that uh, time is maybe at this particular schedule you're not able to identify that or you must have forgotten due to your busy schedule and all those things get into that schedule as which is your most productive time the next max best way to get being productive is about your time yes uh, my dear sir it's about your time in the sense about your phone uh, going into the social media uh, going into uh, you know what generally what happens everybody experiences you just go to check one like what you have received maybe you have posted and you're just waiting how many likes you got or something like that and once you click on that and then just for five minutes you've been there but it goes for maybe even for one hour so you're wasted right so that's of no use okay so please be productive and in a in a week try to be have a digital uh, fasting just like we do fasting for this body and keep ourselves fit and healthy and energetic in the same way you need to do a digital fasting so i have heard today this morning i was listening to one of the ted talks from a great guy and he was telling me that he and his fiance both go on a digital fasting for 12 hours every single day so after 8 p.m they don't, they don't touch the phone. Yes, up to 8 a.m. in the morning. That's absolutely, absolutely great. They just get in their own world and talk and, you know, all those things. So you too need to move out of this phone 
which is which you think or I think it's it's really wonderful, it's great, and what a great technology and everything. But it's not. It's trying to uh, you know lower your efficiency automatically. Even it's uh, the radiations, it's it's affecting you, right? Uh, your brain and also your efficiency, and even it's uh, affecting the whole environment, the place where you stay in. So try to be away from these mobile phones. The other thing, what you need to work on is you need to have a regular schedule. I mean, like routine, your exercise routine, your various other routines, it should be, you know, very much smooth. It should go in a smooth way. It's not that today it's going in a nice way and tomorrow it's not. So for that, you need to get up what? Early in the morning. All the most successful people on this planet, they wake up at least two to three hours before they leave to office, before they get into their business or something like that. So always be very, very productive in this sense that you need to get up early every single day. And the last but not the least is, I would just like to tell you one thing, is if you start modeling successful people, you will become successful. You just need to model what they do. Just try to copy what they do. Just fake it until you make it. And that's going to lead you to success. So these were the couple of productivity tips today, which I bought on this channel of the Mindset Transformation Academy. And we get many such uh, great programs uh, and uh, videos, which will definitely help you to raise your mindset, get into a great mindset frame. And um, so that's all what I have for today. And if you really love this video, I request you to share with people like it. And if you're still not subscribed to my channel, I request all of you to please, please, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Just hit the bell icon over there. So anytime I create new videos, you will be getting it in your inbox. Okay, so thank you very much and have a great day. Ed. And this is Pradeep Shetty here, your Mindset Transformation Coach from the Mindset Transformation Academy signing off. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye. I love you all.